Here we so go. We need to lift our inside right up and bend his nose to the inside, Sophie. Slow him down. I want you to take your time and be patient with him and work on getting it perfect. Instead of just getting around the ring, we need to get him around the ring with some inside bend now. Now we have to work on the finesse. So right now, where's his head pointed? That's right. He's going to whack his nose off this little cement wall and he's not going to be happy. Slow him down and make him turn his nose in. So, so. so when you pull with the outside rein, he goes out. You need to use your inside leg to push him out, not your outside rein. It's a really hard lesson to get. We're going to just squeeze the inside every other step, and the outside is just going to open if we need it. That's it. I would rather see you, if he's fast, break to the walk, get it, and then go back into the trot. Break to the walk, go back into the trot. Whatever needs to work to get him to do it. That quarter was perfect. Sponge that inside rein, open your outside rein to the wall. That was better. So this corner is worse, right? So when you get to the gate, I want you to walk, Sophie, and I want you to walk past us with inside bend. Because he's better down there. So good, start asking him to walk. Now really push him out and really ask him to walk. Yeah, inside leg, inside rein. How come she has to good. hold the rein so tight? Pardon? How come she has to hold the rein so tight? Because he's trying to shoot forward on her. Every time she puts her leg on, he's trying to run away from her leg as opposed to move over. So the half hold has to be there to stop him. There, easy. Good boy. Good boy. We're going to make him process. Not the outside rein, the inside. We're just walking. Good. Now put your trot, quiet trot. You pick the pace. Same thing, when you get up here, you're gonna ask him to walk, you're gonna make him listen and go where you want him. He's getting into the habit of beating her. That's yeah. the problem. Got a girl, now slow him down. Yes, you got it, keep pushing him over. So right. I told her yeah. that- Yeah, he can deal. <laughs> so breathe. Breathe out, tell him, tell him, yeah. Lift your inside rein and sponge it. Leave your outside rein alone. Keep very little contact on your outside rein. That's it. Notice you gave away that outside rein. He listened a little better, right? That's because when we pull on that outside rein, we push his belly to the center of the rein. We want to push his belly to the wall and his nose to the inside. They can't go in the same direction. So watch me. If I'm your horse, when I take my head and I go this way, where's my body go? Same direction or the opposite direction? Same direction. <laughs> opposite direction. Opposite direction. So if you want his body to go to the wall, you have to bring his nose to the center. It just sounds weird because we think that they'll go wherever their nose is. That's what your leg is for. Storm, you look good, buddy. He looks good. More legs. Yeah, don't let him run away. Say, I'm the boss here. We're walking, but you can move over. Good girl. I'm going to give you some ground exercises today to work on. At the end of the lesson, remind me, okay? He knows how to move off your leg and bend, and he's never been asked to do it in the last couple of years. Yeah, and, and if, now he's like... And he's, he's the kind of horse that he will... He will fight you, and we everybody always backs down. Like so, yeah. he always like no, 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 well, no. He lived with kids. He got away with like murder. I know. He lived with people with like us. Slow and inside leg. Oh my good lord! Don't touch that outside rein. I will turn your outside rein into a horsehair rein. I will take three pieces of his tail and give you a rein, and that's all you get. Let me tell you how easy that breaks. Inside leg, breathe out. Inside leg, breathe out. Sweet Lord, don't touch that outside rein. Good Lord above, that looks good. Big half halt. How, yeah, see how responsive he is? Yeah. He's like, I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, he's listening Just good now. Just the inside rein. Just the inside one. Ah, good girl. You may want to circle, so. Breathe, big half halt. You need your reins six feet shorter. 
don't touch that outside rain as much as you want to. You have to teach yourself not to. At the same time, so that you're not half halting afterwards. So right here, half halt and hip chuck. See the difference? He doesn't have the opportunity to run away from you. You also need to bend him with your inside rein. Slower. Running away from you again. Get a big half hold on. Start here, inside rein. Inside rein, inside rein. You didn't even touch it until you got to the pylon. You need to use it a lot sooner. Shorten it up. Outside rein, outside rein. There you go. Widen your hands a wee bit. Half haul right now, inside rein. Don't worry about the cone. Not a girl. Inside rein. Don't touch that outside one. Good girl. You're doing much better, Sophie. Taking a lot of trust for you not to grab that rein, and I appreciate it. So does he. You can make him trot slower. You are allowed to do that. Make him trot slower, right here. Ah, that was beautiful. Now your job as a rider is to do that every single corner for the rest of your freaking life. <laughs> She's thinking, sweet Lord above, do I really have to? She's like, let me get this down. But boy, two. Three, change your ride. Ooh. I tried to get it out really fast, so that's okay. Change your ride. Now, big half hole. You're the boss. Inside rein hip chuck. It's all about that inside leg, so, but the big half hole so he doesn't run away from it, right? That's right. Big half hole and leg. Half hole and leg. Good girl. I like that use of that inside rein and not the outside. Yes. Right in front of your dad. <laughs> <laughs> There's three little nuggets for him. Thank you, Lois. I love Stella I love watching. Okay, ladies, we're going to circle the, pile, the poles. Go over top of the four poles. Don't hate your father. Oh, God, it's close. Sam, why would you walk in front of him? Because she was supposed to circle the poles. Follow Gabby. Not right after my hit. Change your rise, so. Atta girl. That's right. Do not let him run away with you. Be firm and be consistent. circle down here off your inside leg lift your inside rein up on his neck big half halt that's a good bend now off the inside leg hip chuck him oh yeah oh yeah look at you have an inside bend make me really happy and proud big half yeah don't let him take control of you notice how much nicer it is when you give that big half halt and he trots beautifully yeah, it makes you able to ride better, right? You don't have to be all over the place. Look at how nice that's three circles with inside bend. Three of them. I'd like you to canter this rail, please, and trot at the bottom corner. Go ahead, sit, squeeze. Straight. And trot, breathe out. Inside leg, bend him right away. Good girl. 
Don't let him pick the speed. Not his job. Tighten your core and hold those hands up. Don't fall on his neck. I know it's hard, circle. Ah, 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 ah. Who's picking the speed here? Slow your post, pick the speed. gets focused on other stuff. That's part of it. Good girl. And quiet your hands to your body. See, when you quiet everything, he trots nicer, doesn't shake his head, right? When we get those hands dancing around, it's hard to get off balance and he gets more a little fin finicky. Can you park him facing the end? Stop. 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 Yeah, you can back up a couple steps. That's fine. Do not worry about the pylon. I do not care if you step on it, kick it, crunch it. You're going to move him towards the center of the ring. Keep his head straight. Push him off your left leg. Go ahead. But don't let him walk. He has to move side. Yes, just like that. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And stop. That was amazing. Now we're going to him, yeah. And we're going to try to go the other way. Hold him straight to me. And now just this leg. Yeah. This is the one he's stubborn on. Keep asking. Keep asking till he goes. Oh, God. Keep asking till he goes. Keep asking. Keep asking till he goes. This is where he gets stubborn. It's fine. He wants to walk into a wall. We don't really care. So we want him to be able to go both ways that nicely. So your job is going to be to park him on a wall so that when you ask him to move left, he can't go right. So remember what I did over here? And then what you do is if you really want to go, kick the wall, because it scares him into going sideways. <laughs> okay? And then you go, oh, what a good boy, you moved! To make it a big old deal, like he's the best thing in the world. I'm actually proud of her because she's only nine and she's like really trying to get it, you know? She really is. So take your right rein, Sophie, and open it up. That will help you so your inside rein can bend him. You're pushing him into this open space. Yes, when he's good, hands together and drop him down. You don't want to touch him. If we're always on his face, he's just going to get angry. So right here, little inside rein, little inside leg. Yeah. When you use that little inside leg, shove your bum over. Just give him a little wiggle to the wall. Good. A little sponge to your left brain. Just sponge it. Hip chuck. Look at his head right away. We've got a little bit of crooked, right? Good girl. Nice correction. Don't let your ring cross over his neck too much. Now hip tuck him. Lots of leg. On the rise, send your tail to the rail, not your crotch. Bring your left shoulder back, Sophie. Yes, left shoulder back. I'd rather you miss the corner and have your horse bent. Can I get you to back up a couple steps, Gabby? I'm going to have her circle up here. Look at the corner. Circle this end of the ring, please. So open the outside rein. Just hold it open. Way out there, like your arm is straight out in the middle of space. Now put your body over towards that open hand. There you go. Put your body out towards your open hand like you're gonna fall out of the saddle with your open hand. I know, I'm terrifying over here. My hand's doing stuff. That's it, slow, yeah, ha Slow him down.
Slow them down. Good girl. Push them over. So when you kick him, you need to have hold at the same time. Because he's just running away from your leg and he needs to move over. Big half halt here and kick. Good girl. Just your inside leg, remember. Just your inside leg. Uh, Sophie learned a lot of really important things in the lesson. She learned to sidestep her horse. You have to do it. Fiona wants you to practice it. Oh, see, just like that. Good girl. And then he gets confused. And then he gets confused after, and she tries to get him to go forward, and he backs up. So that's what she's frustrated about. It's a hard lesson, though. It's a hard lesson because she's learning to train him and learning to train at nine years old it's a hard thing and I know there are a lot of little girls out there at nine that train horses but it's definitely a difficult thing